Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh, North Carolina. And in this episode, I would like to explain the difference between corneal high drops and bullous keratopathy because we recently had a question about this on our YouTube channel and I thought it would be a great time to explain it because there are a lot of similarities between the two in that they both cause swelling and cloudiness of the cornea. However, if you remember back to episode number 21 on high drops, this usually occurs instantly when there's a break in the inner layers of the cornea due to keratoconus or pellucid marginal degeneration. Now when this inner layer breaks, fluid from the inside, the front part of the eye, can enter the cornea and cause it to swell and become cloudy. In bullous keratopathy, the difference is there's a dysfunction where the inner layers of the cornea are not working well, doing their job to pump fluid from the cornea back into the front part of the eye, and then that leads to swelling and cloudiness. Usually over time, these cells naturally die off as we age, but this can happen more quickly in people that have eye surgery, like cataract surgery or glaucoma surgery, and it's even more common in people that have multiple eye operations as it greatly increases their risk for bullous keratopathy. So there are some things that we can do to help decrease the swelling in bullous keratopathy. First, we can try using drops, which are a strong saline solution called Muro 128. With this, people may use it more times in the morning and then a couple times throughout the day to help bring down the swelling and decrease the thickness of the cornea. When this is not working, someone may need to have a corneal transplant in order to replace the inner layers of the cornea and get them to see more clearly by thinning and clearing out the cornea. This is done now most commonly with DSEC, D-S-E-K, which stands for decimase stripping endothelial keratoplasty, which is the inner layer corneal transplant. There's a newer procedure out that we've also talked about called DMEC, decimase membrane endothelial keratoplasty, that only replaces the most thin part of these cells and layer on the inner part of the cornea. So I know that sometimes these patients could be seeing some of the same problems with cloudiness in their vision, but as you can tell, the differences are large in between the two problems. If you have any questions about either of these, or if you have any um, comments wondering if there could be any other um, changes between the two, uh, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you, and we hope to see you again soon next time on State of Sight.